Welcome back to Tactic, and today we're looking at two guns. Well, we're actually looking at one. On my left, I have a VFC Saber CQB M Lock. On my right, I have a VFC Saber CQB M Lock. So, what's the difference? Well, this one's a VR16, which is already one of the best AEGs on the market. But what this is, I mean this, I mean this, this is an Avalon. So, what differentiates an Avalon from the standard VR16? Well, let's start from front to back. Up front, we have a type bore barrel with a maple leaf bucking right off the bat. So it's a 60 degree bucking with a 603 barrel. We have a larger mag release on, uh, on the Avalons. We have an ambidextrous selector on the Avalons. We actually have the symbology of the Avalon on one side. So if you don't have this symbol, you, you definitely have a VR-16. Next, we also have basically a, um, an ambidextrous charging handle. This is basically from the Crusader series, just to like the mag release. It's their upgrade part series. So these are pretty expensive parts right off the bat on the gun. And then you have the MOSFET already inside. So uh, much like the M27, this actually has the integrated MOSFET. And finally, there are some internal components which are even more reinforced than the original VR16. So, right off the bat, it's a gun that's worth at least $140 worth of upgrades, and yet it's only a slight difference between a VR16 and the Avalon. So, we got a battery in this one, let's go test it out. Oh, biggest difference also, uh, neodymium motor. So that means better torque, uh, faster reaction time on the trigger and a slight more increase in rate of fire. So let's try her out. Again, PTS magazines, the EPM series, they're pretty much the best mags to use in VFCs as well as uh, Crytax. So, eye protection, mag in. Let's try it. Trigger is pretty crisp. And in full auto. That's actually faster than the original. I, I remember that. Um, so essentially, these are the Avalons from DFC and their differences with the original VR16. This is Gabriel signing out.